In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this word reveal for cancer. So stay tuned. And just a favor, if you learn anything in this tutorial, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. So let's get down to business. So we're going to start off this design with the YouTube channel uh, thumbnail. And I'm going to start by placing a table on my workspace. So I'm going to go over to elements. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see that we can find some tables. Now, I don't need all these rows and columns. So I'm going to um, reduce or delete the number of columns until I have one column and one row. Now that I have one column and one row, I'm just going to place this um, cell right here. And inside, I'm going to type in all caps, impossible. I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to go over to my fonts and I'm going to change the font to a font called Zoom Be Rough Bold. And I'm also going to make it larger. I'm going to make it the size of 163 pixels. Now this cell that I have has a border all the way around. And I don't want the border all the way around. I just want the top and the bottom. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to go over to the table editing tools. And I'm going to select the left and the right. And I'm going to change the border color to white because I don't really want a border on the left and the right of this design. I'm going to go back into the table editing tools, and I'm going to make the border a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to uh, toggle the selector all the way to the top and make it the largest that I can. And the largest that I can make it is 10 pixels, and that's OK. I'm now going to go back to text. I'm going to place some text on my workspace right here. I'm going to left align that text. And in there, I'll type in let's make. And I want to make this text size a little bit larger as well. So I'll make it about 50 pixels. And I'll place it right there for now. Uh, now, the text inside the table, I also want to left justify that. And I'm also going to increase the kerning on the text. So I'll come into the spacing and I'll increase the letter spacing to stretch it out all the way um, to the end without it wrapping around into a new sentence. So I'll just leave it like that. I'm now going to go to elements and I'm going to grab a shape and I'm going to place this shape um, over my text and because I want to make sure that it will cover all of my text. I'm going to make this shape white and I'll just make it a little bit larger like that and then I'll move it all the way to the end right here. I'll now make a copy of this whole page. So I'll go to thumbnail view and I'll take a copy and I'll paste it. I'll come over to the second page and I'm going to grab this white box and I'm just going to move it right over my text like that. And I'm going to leave it like that. 
I'll go back to my second slide. I'll take a copy and I'm going to paste again to create a third slide. And now I'm going to just go to position and layers and I'm going to bring this text to the front so that I can change it. And in here, I'm now going to change it to possible. And I'm going to go to the spacing and I'm going to increase the letter spacing so that it fits all the way across that cell without it going over. I'll go back to my position in layers and I'll move my white box back in front of my text. I'm going to go to my third slide again. I'm going to take a copy and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to go back now, grab that white shape, and I'm just going to move it all the way back to the beginning or to the left of my slide and leave it like that. I'm now going to go over to elements and I'm going to place this cancer ribbon on my workspace. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to position that ribbon behind my text like this. And I'm also going to apply an animation to that element. So I'll come down here and I'll apply the animation technique called succession. And I'm going to decrease the speed and increase the intensity. Now that we're done creating our slides, we're going to add a page transition in between our slides. So we're going to go to the page transitions by just placing our cursor in between the slides. And we'll see a little notch that looks like a D. So just select that notch. And we're going to select the transition called Match and Move. And we're also going to apply it between all pages. But before we do that, we're just going to increase the duration to about 1.2 seconds. And then we're going to apply this between all pages. All right, let's take a look and see what that looks like now. I'm just going to close this up and I'm going to come up here to the play preview and I'm going to press play. Okay, we could make it a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on duration. And we can see that the duration of the slides 4.4, 3.8, 3.8. And we're going to update that. We're going to make them a little bit shorter. So let's make them about 3.5 seconds each. And I'm going to apply that to all pages. And whenever we're making adjustments to the duration of each slide, it's always a good idea to go back into page transitions and just make sure that nothing has changed. So I'll leave it at 1.2 seconds and let's go and play this again. Let's make one more change by changing the duration to about one second. So I'm going to click into the timing and make it one second on the second and third slide. Because we don't need that much time on the second and third slide. Those slides are just there to switch the words and then to uh, bring us to the final slide where the word is revealed that now says possible. So let's see what that looks like now.
All right. I kind of like it. I hope you do too. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time. Bye-bye.